This is, this is your boy Sticks in Charge. I am coming to you with another video. I am so excited to share with you. Let me take a sip of my unsweetened tea with lemon. I'm so excited to share with you some of the activities that we did on my birthday celebration where I had game night. So I went to this, I purchased um, one, two, three, five games from Amazon, but we only played five. And what I would like to do is go through each of these games with you. One of the games that we played was um, these cards will get you drunk. I don't, I'm not sure if you played this before or not. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see it. There we go. And um, it's really a fun game. So basically what you do is you pluck a card, you read the instructions on the card, Sometimes the instructions on the card suggest that you drink or you pick someone to drink, or it may say um, if you win a blue shirt, if anyone's wearing a blue shirt, they all take a shot. So this is a fun game to play with your friends. Of course, these are all adult games. Well, not everything, but what we play was adult games. The other game that I purchased was left, center, right. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, we did not play this game. Um, if I remember correctly, when I played it, I played it one time before. Well, I played it at a function one time, but we played several games. So basically, we played $1 per round, per pot. So what it is, each person puts up a dollar, and um, you go, again, clockwise. You roll the dice, and if you put the L, which means left, the person to your left has to put a dollar into the pot. If you roll an R, the person to your R, to the person to your right has to put in a dollar. And if you pick center, I think that's you. You have to put up a dollar if you play with money, you know. But you don't have to. You can use chips, money, coins. It doesn't matter. That's how we play the game when I played it. So each person rolls the dice. And again, the person rolling the dice, if they roll an L, the person to their left has to pay a dollar. And they roll an R, the person to their right must pay a dollar. And if they roll a C for center, they have to pay a dollar. Fun game. Uno needs no introduction. This is a fun game. So I'm not gonna get into too much details on how this game is played. But basically what you do is, whatever color is thrown on the board, you have to put the same color card out there, even though the number could be different. Or the number can be different, but it must be, um, Hold on, I said it wrong. You can throw any card out there as long as the color is the same. If the color is not, you can also play a card, but it must be, a, it can be a different color, but it must be the same number. So if the same color, any number, if it's a different color, it must be the same number that's on the board. So that's how this game is played. Oh, the object of this game is to stay sober at the end. The object of these two games is to make sure that you collect a pot. So the last person gets the pot. And then of course, the object of this game is to try to go out first. So try to, you know, um, play all your cards. The fourth game that I purchased, but the third game that we play, and by the way, I'm not describing this in any order. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just wanna share with you some of the activities that we did on my birthday. So this is Dr. Doodoo Pong. So with this game, we actually played two different types of games. The first game we played, it was, um, can you all see? All right. So the first game we played was, um, it was two teams of five, and we put 12 cups on one end of the um, island in my kitchen, and 12 cups on the other end of my kitchen in my island. Matter of fact, all these games was played on my kitchen island, so, that made it a little easier. And we filled the cups up, maybe one eighth of water each. And the object of this game, of that game that we played was, the team that cleared the board first, because each time you put a ball inside the cup, the cup is removed from the um, island. So the object of the game is, is to have the team to have all the cups removed first. That was a very good game. Second game we played was, I forget the name of it, and again, we put one eighth of beer in each cup. And again, it was two teams, five on one side and five on the other side. So 
um, the first person takes a shot, of, you know, drinks the beer that's in this cup, and then they have to put the cup on the edge of the table. Let me see if I can demo it for you. It was pretty interesting. So give me a minute. Oh, sorry, y'all. So the object of this was to drink the beer, put the cup at the end of the table, and then you gotta try to hit the cup so that, ah, it lands like that. Once it lands like that, the next person takes a, you know, hit of the beer, and then they gotta try to flip the card, flip the cup upside down like I just did. And then the last person must do the exact same thing, and the team who finishes first wins. So we played several rounds of that. That was really, really a fun game. That would definitely be at my next game night. The other game that we played, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with, and it's Jenga. So Jenga, you know how it is. You just, I'm not gonna do everything. You just, you know, build a tower. If you can't see it, I apologize. So the object of this game here is to, you fill, you fill the tower up, so, and we had, again, I think we have 15 people playing this game. So the object of this game is to take a, uh, but you can't do the first three rows. It must be the fourth row and down to the base. You gotta take uh, one of these, remove it, and place it on top. Now, as you build up, the game gets very, very complicated. It's very, very difficult because whoever pulls out a, a block and the tower falls down, loses. And what we did was the person who lost had to take a shot. And we had shots of tequila. Yeah, it was just tequila. And I purchased all these games on Amazon, by the way. And what I can do is I can leave a description um, of the, how much I pay for the games so that you know how much to spend. And like I said, it was a lot, a lot of fun. If you have another game night, and some of these games are, are family friendly, except for this game. But the other games you can play, you know, make your own rules up. It was very, very interesting. But I had a good time on my birthday. And by the way, I'm still celebrating my birthday. So that's not gonna end until January 1st. So this is a quick video because in part two of this video, I am starving. I'm going to have some food to eat. I'm going to get back in front of this camera and we're going to chat some more about these games. And what I do is I'm going to leave these games up so I can like remember what I played and maybe bring up some other stuff that happened during game night. So do not go anywhere. So um, stay tuned for part two of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate everything that you all have done for me. Until the next time. Be good to yourself and each other. Love one another. Be good to yourself. Uh, take care of yourself. And I will see you later. Peace.